now that we've learned about data types and operators, we can learn the concept of an expression. So in Python, expressions are combinations of operators and values that evaluate to some single value. Maybe the simplest example we could look at is a simple addition that we're used to doing, 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is an expression to Python, and it's a, the expression is made up of the operator, which is the plus symbol here, and operands, which are the things that the operator is acting upon. And then uh, simplifying this expression down to a single value, so actually executing it, uh, is something we call evaluating the expression. So evaluating the expression is actually applying the operator to the operands. Now, the uh, operands themselves don't have to be so simple. And in fact, they often aren't. Uh, they can be expressions themselves. So you can get situations, and you often do, where there's uh, expressions using expressions, using expressions, using expressions. And so these expressions are always op uh, evaluated operand first. So here in this example, before we can add together the left side of this plus sign and the right side of this plus sign, we have to get them down to their simplest forms. So wow is already just a string. There's nothing we need to do there. But on the right, uh, ha times 3, that itself is an expression. And so <clears throat> Python is going to first evaluate that expression to get ha ha ha. And then it'll be able to evaluate the addition here, which is a string concatenation, to get wow space ha ha ha. And what's kind of cool about this is that no matter how complicated your expression is, no matter how many operands you have, uh, Python will go through step by step methodically until it gets down to just a single value. I'll take a slide detour here and talk about functions. I've been using the word function in a couple different situations. You might have been wondering, hey, what exactly is a function? Really broadly speaking, a function is anything that takes an input, performs some task, and then gives an output. Um, and so examples are the stir function that we learned about earlier today, the int function. So stir takes in something and evaluates it to a string. Int will take something in and convert it to an integer, which we call casting. Um, really, that's all you need to know for now. We're going to learn much more about functions, how to write your own functions if you want to. But for now, just know that these function calls um, are also uh, expressions. And so they can be used in as uh, operands or as an expression just on its own. So for any given expression, uh, we're going to keep evaluating that expression piece by piece until it simplifies down to a single value, uh, which in Python is known as an atom. This atom can either be an identifier, so a variable name, or it could be a literal, uh, meaning an actual literal like base value. So here we have result and then some math operation that we're converting to a string. And so the innermost, uh, the innermost expression here is 2 to the power of 6. Right, so actually, let's just start from the outside. So the overall expression here is something plus something. And first, Python will look at the thing on the left, and we see result. The on the left, we see result. Result is already in its simplest form. It's already just a string value. But on the right, we see that uh, this is a call to the stir function, which is going to convert whatever is inside to a string. And so that itself is an expression that needs to be evaluated. So Python will go ahead and try to evaluate that. But to evaluate that expression, inside we have a math expression, 2 to the power of 6 divided by 4. So here, the operator is the division symbol, and the operators are uh, operands are 4 and this expression on the left, 2 to the power of 6. And so that's yet another expression, even deeper down, that first Python needs to evaluate. And so finally, we get to 2 to the power of 6. Uh, so here, the operator is the star star exponentiation, and the operands are 2 and 6. And so we can raise 2 to the power of 6. That'll give us uh, uh, 64 on the left and 4 on the right, with the operator being the division symbol. So we can evaluate that. 64 divided by 4 is 16. And so we're left with a function call, stir, given the number 16. We'll convert it to a string. And finally, we can go back up 
to our outermost expression and add together the string result and the string 16, which gives us result 16. And we stop here because uh, this is now an atom. So it's a string literal. It is a literal string. It can't be simplified anymore. It's a single value now. Now, this might explain, you might have noticed that we've been using variables and literals interchangeably. And so on the left here, we first add together the opening and the name and store it in a variable greeting. And then we print greeting. And on the right, we just print opening uh, plus name. So what is the expression here in both of these? Well, it's this addition that's happening, opening plus name. But you'll notice the only difference is on the left, we uh, have this expression opening plus name, and we assign it to the variable greeting. And then we print that variable, referencing the variable. Whereas on the right, we just evaluate it directly within the print statement. And now that you can think about expressions, this print statement itself is an expression. And to evaluate that expression, uh, Python first has to evaluate the uh, argument that's being passed in, which is opening plus name, which is an expression that's an addition, a string, string addition, a concatenation. And so whether or not we assign the expression value to a variable, either way our code works the same way and we have the same output. 